WFCA's Faith in Sports. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome to the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the Jim Sundberg Golf Classic at the Trophy Club Country Club. Tom Gree, Padre Rodriguez, and Mark McLemore scheduled to be a part of the fun along with Jim Sundberg. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. NFL training camps are coming fast. Originally, we planned on having two former Dallas Cowboys on the show today. They will now join us next week because we at DFWFCA just had a wonderful, great week of summer camp, the annual sports leadership camp for high school students. We had so much fun, we want to share it with you. We decided to bring you some of the sounds and interviews from camp, including one of the coaches on hand, former Baylor star, now New York Jets quarterback Bryce Petty. I think there's a certain value to how you conduct yourself on and off the field. Um, And I think that the fact that I am a Christian and that there are Christians in the NFL, I think it's great because kids look up to how they act and kids want to be them. More from New York Jet quarterback Bryce Petty coming up in just a few minutes. We're going to do something a little different in our DFWFCA 50th anniversary classic moment as well. Instead of hearing from great coaches and athletes this week, we will let you hear comments from the high school student athletes at this year's sports leadership camp right after the last night of chapel where over a hundred student athletes made commitments to Christ. It was my first time feeling God presence in my heart. I was crying, realizing I've been putting my sport first and not even realizing it all this time. It was really eye opening for me because I rededicated my life, so it was very eye opening. This this was just absolutely electric. You could feel the presence of God in his glory just all around us. You It was just absolutely amazing. More from these amazing FCA summer camp high school students in the classic moment later this half hour. Also joining us on the show today, the director of FCA in North Texas, Rick Bowles, also at the sports leadership camp. Well, we had a record number of campers, which we're excited about, almost 200. They come from all over North Texas. We actually had a few come from out of state, but... The reason we get excited about the numbers, obviously, is so that we can reach more kids. More from the leader of DFWFCA, Rick Bowles, later this half hour. We would love to connect with you. You can find us on Facebook at DFWFCA. You can find us on Twitter at FCADFW, and our website is DFWFCA.org. Our special guest on the show today is New York Jets quarterback Bryce Petty, and we will hear more from him in just a few minutes. Right now, we want to share some sound with you from the high school student-athletes at the DFWFCA Sports Leadership Camp. I caught up with these young men on the football field. All my life, I've just been a Christian, but I've never actually understood him for myself, so I came to this camp to actually get a meaning of who he is, and so far it's been outstanding. So you've learned a little bit, huh? Yes, sir. I've learned a lot, actually. It's great. Are you learning about your sport too? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I see uh, you sweating a little bit. Yeah, Coach Smith is really getting us out here working and uh, teaching us everything to perfect our craft. So is an FCA camp corny for a guy your age? No, it's not. I, I love it. I'm 17 and it's, it's good. Making some friends? Yes, sir. Made some good ones right here. All right. Here's one of his friends. What's your name? What's your school? I'm Jack Ellis. I go to Midlothian Heritage High School. We're a new high school. So why FCA camp for you? FCA camp is uh, it's teaching me more about Jesus Christ and loving Lord, and it's really searching my heart. And it's also a leadership camp, so I get to learn new leadership skills so I can go and be the best captain on my football team as I can. So you knew Jesus before you came to camp? Yes, sir. Are you learning any more about him? Yes, sir. A lot. Lots of good stuff about him. Yeah, I see you're sweating, too. Uh, yes, sir. It's hot out here. It's good Texas weather. Yeah. So would you recommend FCA camp for your friends? Most definitely. I've had so much fun, and I love it here. These ladies were working hard at camp on the soccer field. AB and I go to South Grand Prairie High School. Okay, why FCA camp? Um, I've been going to FCA camp ever since I was in sixth grade, and just being able to see sports integrated with the person that I love, something I love doing, integrated with the person that I love worshiping, it was like a win-win situation. Are you having fun out here? Yes, sir. I'm having the time of my life. You learning anything? Yes, sir, I am. In sports or in Jesus? In both. (laughs) My name's Laura, and I'm from Denison. Okay. Why FCA camp for you? Um, I joined, F- my old school didn't have FCA, and I joined FCA when I moved to my new school, and then I became a leader this last year, 
and my the teacher that's the head of it told us about this camp and I thought it was a good place to come and worship God and also be able to play the sport that I love. It's just amazing that we can all share a talent and we everyone else has different talents too, but we can all share the love of God at the same time. Are you making any friends? Yes, I've made lots of friends. <laughs> you think you'll have them for a while? Uh, well, I live pretty far away, so I don't know. Maybe we'll keep in touch. <laughs> yeah, they have the thing called email and text and phone and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> My name is Jada Austin, and I go to Cedar Hill High School. <laughs> All right. Why FCA camp for you? Uh, because uh, three years ago, my mentor, she told me about this, and she was like, it's a good way to put Christ into sports instead of being competitive all the time and very, um, I don't know, get strong forward towards soccer. You know? do, uh, do these camps help your faith at all? Yes, they help me a lot. You know, I came in here two years ago trying to be big and bad, you know, but now I'm a I'm a girl of Christ, and I love the Lord so much and everything he has done for me. How about you? You making any friends? Oh, yeah, I made a lot of friends. Ain't that right, girls? Ain't that right? <laughs> uh, I'm Chloe Caldemeyer, and I go to Gilmer High School. Gilmer, okay. So why FCA camp? Uh, my dad was telling me about it, and I was just like, oh, well, sports and God together, it's like a perfect match. And it's just a way that I guess we could all come together. And as A.B. said, we could just, like, share the love of God with each other. And um, I think that's really, really cool. And then we all are here just to learn how to become leaders. So. Does this camp help you draw cr closer to Jesus? Uh, yes. I, I think that I hope this camp, like, will help me to make – because, you know, there's always that camp high, and then you go home, and it's like, oh, Jesus, it's, it's whatever. But, like, I, I really think that this camp is going to help me to, like, um, draw it out longer and just, um, like, stay in the Word and stay with my walk with Christ. And so, yeah. We will hear more from the high school student-athletes at DFWFCA Sports Leadership Camp in just a bit. Coming up next, we're going to hear from New York Jet quarterback Bryce Petty, one of the coaches there at camp. DFWFCA is celebrating 50 years of ministry, and we're asking you to help commemorate this milestone by sharing your FCA story with us. How did FCA affect you when you were growing up, maybe in middle school or high school or even college? We'd love to hear your story. Go to dfwfca.org for all the information. This is the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the JSGC, the Jim Sundberg Golf Classic. Did you ever imagine you'd be invited to a dinner with Roger Staubach, Bob Lilly, Dan Reeves, and Bob Brunig? With God, anything is possible, right? The DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes invites you to join them for their 50th anniversary celebration dinner at the Irving Convention Center. Early bird tickets are on sale now, and tickets go fast, so go to dfwfca.org to make sure you've got a seat. It'll be a night of fantastic cowboy stories, trips to the Super Bowl, playing for Tom Landry, serving Christ, and and the joy of touching lives with the FCA. Knock something big off your bucket list by having dinner with Staubach, Lilly, Reeves, and Brunig. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. Situated on 330 acres of beautiful natural landscape with facilities to accommodate groups up to 1,000, Lakeview Camp and Retreat Center is the ideal place to schedule your next event. Whatever your group's goals are, Lakeview aims to meet your needs, providing year-round service facilities for retreats, conferences, camps, corporate meetings, outdoor education outings, school events, and family gatherings. Our friendly staff is committed to making your stay a great experience. Come to Lakeview Camp and Retreat Center and enjoy state-of-the-art facilities, activities that engage and rejuvenate, comfortable lodging, and great food in a setting that inspires the awe of the greatness of God. To learn more about this scenic location for your next event, visit us online today. For more information, visit lakeviewcamp.net. Welcome back to DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, brought to you by the JSGC, the Jim Sunberg Golf Classic. I'm Chris Schneider. We will hear from former Baylor quarterback and great, now New York Jet Bryce Petty, in just a moment. A reminder that you can look great and help support DFWFCA at the same time. Check out our 50th anniversary gear. 
Check it out at the FCA store at dfwfca.org. On the show today, we're featuring sound from the DFWFCA Sports Leadership Camp that just wrapped up. We heard from some of the young men and women there earlier, along with about 200 student-athletes. There are also over 100 adults there, coaches, college students who volunteered to help out, and more like this huddle leader. I just love to serve. Like, I feel like my purpose is to serve. That's, like, why I'm here. And any way I can give back, I love to. What are you seeing uh, as far as how camp affects kids? Well, I turned my life over to God at FCA camp. So I know it works. I know that, like, there's something about this week and just, like, being devoted to not only your sport but around people who are devoted to God that just moves you. And it just, like, pushes you to want to continue that. So this week it just makes you realize that through your sport is like how you can get closer to God. And so you came to Christ uh, at an FCA camp, huh? Yes, sir. How did that happen? I just had a huddle leader that was just pouring into me and loving on me and wasn't giving up on me, and I just strive to be just like her. So so you get to do that now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Have have you seen any uh, kids come to Christ uh, under your tutelage at camps? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I've seen seen it happen in a day, and then I've seen it take three days. But it, it happens, and I've gotten to see it firsthand, and it's very humbling. Why this camp? I actually got asked if I would come to this camp because of what they saw from me from one of my previous camps and they just like the way that I go about it because I try to relate you know I don't want to teach you I want to be relatable and I want to like show you what not to do from what I've done you know so I think that's the one reason I was asked to come to this one. One of the young football players I caught up with at camp was Michael. He was coming off the football field after getting a lesson from New York Jets quarterback Bryce Petty. We're playing uh, a limited football games. We're about to play some football 707. It's about to go hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what does Jesus mean to you? He's my savior. I guess, I ain't going to say I guess. I know he's my savior. He died for our sins. He helps me when I'm down. He did everything. I know that's like a guy look outside, look down low. So he know what I'm doing. What does Bryce Petty mean to you? Go Cowboys. I'm not, I'm not worried about no Jets right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He, he, saw, he saw my um, shirt, right? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm tripping. That leads us to our special guest here on Faith in Sports today, New York Jet quarterback Bryce Petty getting ready for training camp, but he took time out to come back home and coach football at the recent sports leadership camp last week. So I caught up with him right after the morning practice session. The things that I had planned out, um, that always worked better, you know, in God's way and in, in his plan. So... Uh, you know, have all that happen the way it did and, you know, waiting 1,700 days to, to start and, and then being a Heisman race at the end. I mean, I, I couldn't have dreamed it better than, than the way it went down. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's all a you know, reflection of him and his plan. And when you give it to him and, you know, things just work out, you know, whether they're, you know, a Heisman race or, you know, CEO of your company or whatever it is. It's just, you know, you give it to him and things work out. Clayton Kershaw was here on Faith in Sports a few weeks ago and he said, you know, this, this baseball thing just gives me an amazing platform to tell people about Jesus. Do you find that in the NFL? Yeah, definitely. Um, and, and that's the thing that you, you know, you see out here is, you know, there's, there's eighth graders, there's ninth graders, there's sophomores, there's seniors, and they know exactly who you are. They know all your stats and they know you, where you came from. And it's, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy because I remember being in that same spot, but in any aspect, it's, it tells you that kids look up to you. And so I think there's a certain value to how you conduct yourself on and off the field. Um, and I think that, the fact that I am a Christian and that there are Christians in the NFL, I think it's great because kids look up to how they act and kids want to be them. And so um, when you can exemplify Christ and who you are on and off the field, you know, it gives those kids something to look up to. And just the fact that you play football increases that tenfold to, to the ability to listen to you, to watch you, to want to reenact what you do. So, so you're here at an FCA camp helping kids, uh, volunteering. Why? Well, you know, big... NFL star, why give your time and come here and do this? Well, you know, SEA had an influence in my life, uh, you know, when I was in high school and and, and into college. And so, again, I love this age group, uh, the high school, the transition from high school to college. That that whole transition is just is is one that I really enjoy being around and being a part of because they they just love life. They love being out here. I mean, it's 100 degrees. They're out here running around, uh, throwing the football and asking questions. And so, you know, anytime I get to be around that kind of age group, I like to do it. And then plus, again, it's, it's, you know, a leadership camp. You play sports, you're a leader. 
Christian, you're a leader. That's just naturally going to happen. And so to combine both of those and hopefully try and help, you know, whether it is questions or answers or, or just being, you know, who you are out there, just walking around. Um, hopefully they see something, they can pick up something, say, you know what, I want to be like that guy because he's like Christ. Um, and that's the whole thing about it. Former Baylor great, now New York Jets quarterback Bryce Petty. Thank you, Bryce. Coming up next, we're going to hear from the leader of North Texas FCA, Rick Bowles. Get his thoughts on the amazing camp that saw over 100 students make commitments for Christ. And we will hear the emotional responses from those wonderful young men and women on our 50th anniversary classic moment. We would be honored to have you partner with us at DFWFCA as we continue to touch thousands and thousands of lives for Christ just as Tom Landry envisioned when he started the DFWFCA 50 years ago. See how you can volunteer, become a part of our team, or donate. Just go to dfwfca.org. This is the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the Jim Sunberg Golf Classic at the Trophy Club Country Club. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. In 1966, Coach Tom Landry had the inspiration to start the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Dallas. This year, Dallas-Fort Worth FCA is celebrating God's amazing impact on coaches and athletes during our 50th anniversary. Over 16,000 students and athletes are involved with FCA in North Texas. Nearly 500 coaches and teachers volunteer their time to influence student athletes. Visit dfwfca.org for more information, including how you can pick up some one-of-a-kind 50th anniversary products like caps, shirts, coffee mugs, and more. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome back to DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, brought to you by the JSGC, the Jim Sunberg Golf Classic. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. We have a special DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic moment coming up for you. Stick around for that. Attention business owners who are friends of FCA. You can save money and support DFWFCA. Learn how what your business does every day can help support this amazing ministry. Just go to dfwfca.org and get all the details. Now, joining us here on Faith in Sports is a man who heads up the FCA ministry in North Texas, Rick Bowles. I caught up with Rick at the Just Finished Sports Leadership Camp to see how everything came together. Well, we had a record number of campers, which we're excited about, almost 200. They come from all over North Texas. We actually had a few come from out of state. But the reason we get excited about the numbers, obviously, is so that we can reach more kids. And the exciting thing about this camp, we combine sports clinics So just about every sport you can imagine, these kids are out here enjoying and and improving that. But the leadership side of it, so in the afternoons, we bring in some speakers, and uh, they get to hear about how to grow as a Christian. They get to hear about being a leader in their home and on their campus. But also there's a lot of FCA student leaders, so they actually run the huddle meeting the the club meeting before after school and uh, we do training for them to always improve and help them do a better job one of the things though that's really cool about the sports side of it is is they will the coach will take a break and a coach will share his testimony and uh, so right in the middle of, of doing some clinics these kids get to hear from a coach, and that coach shares their faith, so it's pretty exciting. You had some pretty high-profile coaches uh, at your sports leadership camp this year, former NBA players, current NFL players, a lot of lot of wisdom being thrown out there, and not just sports wisdom. Yes, uh, we were able to uh, bring in some uh, current and former professional athletes, which, you know, the young people really get excited about that. Bryce Petty came and shared a little bit and uh, the kids were yelling hey can we get your autograph you know and it, and that's fun for them it's it's really fun and guys like that you know they're busy they're being pulled back and forth but we also have a lot of uh, great middle school and high school coaches and they volunteer their time to come out and coach for example in baseball the coaches that ran the clinic 
They have a combined 80 years of coaching in the Metroplex, and they're all solid Christians. And it makes me wish I was back <laughs> in baseball as a high school kid to have that influence in my life. So it's pretty exciting. It's fantastic talking to the kids themselves uh, because they come from all different viewpoints. Some of them are Christians, and they can't stop talking about how much they're learning here. And some of them weren't Christians, and they can't stop talking about this new fellow they're hearing about named Jesus. It's it's an amazing mix of, uh, of different things going on. Our campers come from all different walks of life and from from all over North Texas and some out of state. But also spiritually, you've got young people who grew up in church and have a great grasp of their relationship with Jesus Christ. And then you've got some campers that are out here for the first time that are really hearing the gospel presented straightforward in a loving manner to say, hey, you, you can have life above and beyond this normal walk that we live here on earth. And so pretty pretty neat that these young people can get that experience. At the same time, they're getting to craft their sport, and we know how important sports are to a lot of And so the message out there a lot of the time is don't make sports your life. Make that a part of your life. But ultimately, you need to really face the spiritual facts that Christ loves you and you need to commit your life fully to him. And FCA donors really helped a lot of these kids, right? Because a lot of the kids that you had at the sports leadership camp, your high school camp, were here because they got scholarships. Yes, I would say probably half of the students that are here received at least three quarters of their fee paid for by donors. And uh, the donors come from all different areas as well. Some, we will write a letter. We had a business luncheon that Coach Taft spoke at and really made a plea, and we got donations from that. Uh, I've got a board member, uh, him and his wife, give every year to camp scholarships. That's, they look forward to it. And his testimony is that uh, he found Christ at an FCA camp and went on to play successfully in football at Baylor and is now a successful attorney. So you just never know when you give money to get a, a young person to an FCA camp how impactful that's going to be not only now but down the road. So if folks who are listening, uh, they want to help FCA, they want to be a part of it, a part of the team, can they volunteer or can they donate? Uh, absolutely. We're always looking for additional help and volunteering. It may be just a one-time event. It may be something they can do throughout the year. There's many, many opportunities. They can donate. Obviously, we're a nonprofit, so we're always <laughs> looking for people who will support us financially. Best thing to do is you can go to dfwfca.org, and uh, there's ways for, for you to donate and um, be a part. The leader of FCA in North Texas, Rick Bowles. Thank you, sir, for this wonderful ministry that touches so many lives. It is time for the DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic Moment. Over 100 high school student-athletes who attended this year's sports leadership camp made commitments to Christ at the chapel service the last night of camp. I asked some of the young men and women there how the call to Christ affected them. Well, I mean, it's a wonderful experience. We get to know more about God, and I just feel in His presence. It's awesome. We get really alive, and we feel the Lord's presence. One of the greatest football knowledge places ever, and it's a great place for believers. Uh, it's the best service as a kid where I can go and enjoy myself. It's where I can be myself. It's my, this is my first time. It was my first time feeling God's presence in my heart. And, like, it's amazing. How would you describe FCA worship? Uh, it's helped me open my eyes to a bunch of things. A really helpful experience. Um, as inspirational um, and just amazing, it really brings God into the place. I would describe it as passionate, real, raw, and just joyful. Uh, basically exactly how she explained it. She kind of <laughs> took the words out of my mouth. It was, to me, it was amazing, like, the way I felt. Like, I didn't want to cry at first, and then it just, it just came out. Like, I didn't, I didn't have control over anything. I was crying, realizing I've been putting my sport first, and not even realizing it all this time. Oh, I was a mess. Um, it was intense. It was very intense, and I think it like really brought a lot to my mind and a lot to my heart that I needed to like let someone know about. 
and like get it all out. So it was pretty, it was pretty good. It was really eye-opening for me because I rededicated my life, so it was very eye-opening. Um, I like Caden. I needed to know what what to do and how to tell people and so I would say that it really dug deep into your heart and it just showed me how victorious it is to walk in Christ. It felt really special. You could feel the Lord's just presence over everybody and overcoming everybody and they're just getting saved and rededicating their life. It's pretty amazing. Oh, uh, it was amazing. I feel really good. Yeah, I feel like like a new man. Very spiritual. It was it was great to be with my brothers and get to know them better here and it was just really great getting close to them. I'm just I'm just stuck in awe on how amazing that was. I mean, when all this happens, I get all teary eyed. I can't help myself. I start bawling when I see my brothers accepting Christ. It just <laughs> this this was just absolutely electric. You could feel the presence of God and His glory just all around us. You, it was just absolutely amazing. Some absolutely amazing young men and women at this year's FCA Rise Sports Leadership Camp with this week's 50th anniversary classic moment. Thank you, guys. Hey, be sure to join us for the DFW FCA 50th anniversary celebration dinner. Roger Staubach, Bob Lilly, Dan Reeves, Bob Brunick, they'll all be there to share cowboy stories. Go to dfwfca.org for all the information on how you can get your early bird tickets. This is DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, brought to you by the Jim Sundberg Golf Classic at the Trophy Club Country Club. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. Did you know that after a trip to an FCA sports camp in Estes Park, Colorado in 1962, Dallas Cowboys coach Tom Landry felt inspired to use his position as a coach to influence young student athletes. So in 1966, 50 years ago, Coach Landry helped launch the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Dallas. Hi, I'm Rick Bowles, North Texas Director for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and I'd like to ask you to tell us your FCA story. What impact did FCA have or is currently having on your life? Visit dfwfca.org for more information. How about a day of fun on the golf course with Texas Rangers legends Jim Sundberg, Pudge Rodriguez, Tom Grieve, and Mark McLemore. You're invited to join us for the annual Jim Sundberg Golf Classic at the Trophy Club Country Club October 3rd. Sonny will lead the luncheon program, interviewing the panel of Ranger greats while you enjoy a great lunch, and then it's out to the golf course. There will be great raffle prizes and live auction items, so come help us touch lives for Christ and have a great time, too. Go to dfwfca.org for details on how you can join us for the Jim Sundberg Golf Classic. I'm Chris Schneider. Thank you for joining us for DFWFCA's Faith in Sports Radio Show brought to you by the Jim Sunberg Golf Classic at the Trophy Club Country Club. Tom Grieve, Pudge Rodriguez, Mark McLemore will join Sonny this year. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. Remember to get in touch with us. You can find us on Facebook at dfwfca. Our website is dfwfca.org. You can find us on Twitter at fcadfw. Our thanks to our special guest today, New York Jet quarterback Bryce Petty, and the young men and women from the DFWFCA Sports Leadership Camp. I'm Chris Schneider, the sports and spirit speaker. You can find me at RadioactiveSpeaking.com. Godly messages with stories from the greatest coaches and athletes of all time. Find me, the sports and spirit speaker, at RadioactiveSpeaking.com. Joining us on next week's show will be a couple of former Dallas Cowboys, one of Bill Parcells' favorite players, linebacker Aiken Adell, and quarterback John Kitna. Guests scheduled to join us in future weeks include MLB star Adrian Gonzalez, former Yankee star Bobby Richardson, Tom Osborne, Roger Staubach, Dan Reeves, Mike Singletary, and many others. FCA's Faith in Sports is an outreach of DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes, hosted and produced by me, Chris Schneider. Executive producer is Rick Bowles. For info on DFW FCA, contact Rick at rbowles, B-O-W-L-E-S, rbowles at fca.org. And remember this week to do all that you do unto the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. From the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Faith in Sports.